is planned by the Deputy Governor of Kaduna State. Welcome, His Excellency Senator Bola Ahmed Tinibu, and we're going to welcome him with this song. On your mandate we shall stand, on your mandate we shall stand, on your mandate, on your mandate, on your mandate we shall stand. Once again, on your mandate we shall stand. On your mandate we shall stand. On your mandate, on your mandate, on your mandate we shall stand. Please put your hands together for yourself, gentlemen and ladies. Thank you very much. Please, paparazzi, I think enough of this. Can we be seated now? Thank you very much. Lots of want of time. May I invite to the microphone? The Honorable Minister of Health, the Director of Election Planning and Monitoring, His Excellency Babatunde Raji Fashala, SAN, to welcome the presidential candidates and the eminent personalities here present. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Please, can we applaud Your Excellency as a take to the microphone? Let me thank on behalf of the PCC and on behalf of the Election Planning, Planning and Monitoring Directorate, our resource persons, uh, let me thank Mr. Moise Banere, SA, who, who was a uh, Please applaud if you feel that Moise impacted. Let me thank Larry Ulushola. Let me thank Professor. Is there an applause for him as well? Uh, let me thank Professor Usiji Medana and Khalil Halil. Applause for them, please. They've been working around the clock to provide all of the information that I believe has been shared with you. I welcomed all of you in the morning, and I am sure that you have had a really uh, knowledgeable an interactive day. Uh, the national chairman was here when the ICT and other components of the day's work were being recapped. Let me thank all of the uh, interpreters. Professor Usiji Medana also acted as an interpreter and translator in Hausa. A round of applause for him. Uh, Elton also acted as an interpreter in Igbo, and uh, the chairman and I were assessing Elton's Igbo with some smattering of English to give his spice. But nevertheless, I'm sure that he got the message across. Ayo Oyalo was our interpreter to summarize the Yoruba uh, uh, speaking. Um, Sign of what has been done. Uh, I'm sure that you all also have copies of the brochures that have been printed and the summaries of the guidelines. What remains for us to do is to now go back to our states and begin to share what you have gained here at state, senatorial, House of Rep, and uh, House constituency levels down to the local governments and wards. And I'm happy that Governor Nasser El Rufai. So, Governor Lalong, I think that it is important for you 
through, and I'm sure that the representatives of the Progressive Governors Forum are also here. This is a very important piece of information for the governors and the governors forum to take ownership of this training now to their states. These men and women have been equipped, they are ready. We expect you to make these big state events uh, in your states to flag them off and ensure that this kind of events on a bigger or minuscule state takes place all the way down to the smallest electoral unit in your state. Uh, you will have done our party and yourselves a great world of good if you do this the way we did it back in 2018. And I see the nodding from Governor Nasser Erufai in acknowledgement and concurrence. And uh, if I have the permission of the national chairman and the presidential candidate, we are going to use you as a focal point and a contact for the government helping the DG and I will be in touch with you to follow up. So ladies and gentlemen, except to thank you once again, uh, this part of my job is done. I am enthused by the turnout and I will hand over the microphone to our masters of ceremony to invite some of our very, very distinguished and eminent guests to address the government. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Excellency. The Director of Election Planning and Monetary Committee. Please, we can do better than what we have just done. Thank you. The Executive Governor of Plateau State, His Excellency Simon Lala, C.O.N. to please give us his warm speech. Let me stand on existing protocols. But I must say thank you for this wonderful gathering. The, train, the trainers that are going to train others. I walked in and I saw, I was almost telling somebody in Miami that, wow, it's like we've won the elections already. <laughs> but God on our side, nothing will change. So I welcome you to this important and necessary training, which is part of our journey towards victory in the general election that are 39 days away. I bring you good wishes from our father and chairman of the Presidential Campaign Council, President Muhammad Bari this year, as well as our incoming president, by the grace of God, as well as Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and his running mate, Senator Kashim Setima. We are gathered here for this critical, crucial training for APC polling agents, which is a train the traders event in realization that every election comes with these peculiarities and challenges. There are no two elections that are the same, even when the candidates have previously participated in the same contest. As part of our critical engagement, we met yesterday with all the APC candidates and discussed the challenges and opportunities for our party in the elections. A lot of their submissions bordered on the rules that you as polling agents are expected to play before, during, and after the elections. The Nigerian electorates are dynamic and continuously getting sophisticated. So as part of our critical equipment we met yesterday, the Nigerian electorates are dynamic and continuously getting sophisticated in their thinking. Composition and action space on evolving realities and issues on issues of composition and action space on evolving realities and issues of the day. Only recently, I need to tell us that about 12.3 million new voters registered and are now eligible to vote for the first time. This means that we have to take them into consideration as we plan to canvas converse for their votes and ensure that they choose the APC on the election day. Besides the 2022 Electoral Act, which will be used for the election, is not the same as what was used in 2019 general elections. Therefore, we cannot assume that what we knew about the election four years ago will be sufficient for us to properly maximize our potentials in the forthcoming elections. Apart from getting familiar the Beavers technology, you have to also be informed on the new guidelines that relate to transmission of results, among others. 
That is why we convene this trainer train exercise, which gives us an opportunity to first appreciate you as our pulling agents for the roles you have been playing in mobilizing for the party across the country and also defending the interests of our candidates. Because it is difficult to bring all our agents for this training at once, we have selected you so that you can get the knowledge and cascade it down to the grassroots when you return home. While you get this knowledge from the trainers today, I want you to know that you are the foot soldiers of the party on election day and will be required to keep an eye on every note and also ensure that the APC and all its candidates are not church changed. We shall be relying on you to be on the ground and to ensure that every guideline is followed during the exercise. Like the Director of Election Planning and Monitoring Committee, His Excellency Babatunde Raji Fashola SA has mentioned, the election is 39 days away and should be considered a sacred duty which must be protected. I share this sentiment with him and also challenge you to see your responsibility not only as something you are doing for the party, but for the peace, progress, and development of Nigeria. I therefore appeal to you, as members of this great party, to remain steadfast and to shun any action that will draw back the fortunes of our party. Already, we have received overwhelming support from Nigerians in all the states we have visited and others we are here to visit. As well as Shetima, as well as our candidates for governors, senate, House of Representatives and State Assemblies are clearly on the lead. We have to push to the end. I want to assure you that the PPCC and the party leadership is doing everything possible to ensure that you are adequately mobilized and enabled to carry out this sensitive assignment without difficulties. We are confident of your capacity, the zeal, the passion, as many of you are veterans who know your terrains very well, nobody should intimidate or harass you, particularly when you stand on the truth and the law. On behalf of the PCs, let me especially thank the Director of Election Planning and Monitoring under the able leadership of, of the Honorable Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Raji Fashola, SA, and his team who have done a great job which puts us way ahead of our competitors. competitors. Because I know immediately we live here, other parties will want to copy. I said it before that they, want, they always like copy, copy. But when we started, they started copying us, and then we changed gear, they got confused. So even if they want to copy this, I know, as you like I say, they will copy it and go the wrong side. So we at the PCC will continue to support all directors to work hard to deliver on their mandates as we ensure that Asuwa Ibola Ametinu takes over from President Muhammad Ubari on May 29th by the grace of God. So I wish you a successful training. God bless Asuwa Ibola Tinubu and Kachim Shetima. God bless ABC and God bless Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Please, can we applaud Your Excellency? His Excellency has delivered his message. He has spoken like the governor that he is. He has also spoken like the DG that he is. Please, once again, put your hands together for His Excellency. Thank you, Your Excellency. No other person other than Dr. Senator Abdullahi Adamu, His Excellency, COA, the Senator and the National Chairman, to the microphone. Your Excellency, sir. APC! APC! Progress! Thank you very much. My very dear brother and the president. The Federal Republic of Nigeria in waiting. <laughs> the person of Asimaju, Bola, 
Amen. To the moon. The jack of the ABC. The jack of Nigeria. The jack of Africa. I pray the indulgence of all present to stand by the established protocol, please. We all understand why today's training is critical. We are only a few weeks from the general elections. All the speakers today have emphasized why this training is essential and commendable. On behalf of the National Working Committee of the party, I commend the steadfastness and faith of all trainees who have undergone this training. We are sure we will all deliver in your various mandate points as we go forth into the elections a few weeks from today. A little back into the history of the ABC. You will recall that our party was created out of a coalition of progressive-minded Nigerians who are resolved to make a difference in the lives of our people. Through that resolve, we were able to dislodge the PDP at the federal level and in many states of the Federation in the year 2018. In the over seven years that President Mahmoud Buhari, GCL and the APC have held the reins of government, our policies have been so impactful that we are sure to ride on these achievements to win the fourth American elections. It bears repeating always, and I say so with no apologies to anybody, that no government in the history of this country has done more in terms of infrastructure development than this administration. We have done so well in transforming our roads, airports, seaports, railways, and water supply. We are continuously tackling the security challenges that we inherited from the PDP administration. We shall show overcome the challenges and Nigerians will be able once again to go about their civic duties without let or hindrance. Our standing achievements, however, do not mean that we should rest on our oars and become docile. We must work hard to achieve success in the forthcoming elections. We owe ourselves and all Nigerians the responsibility of winning the elections clean and square. And that is where the responsibilities begin as our agents. As those who go out there to train our polling agents, we need to be in the right frame of mind, knowing that losing the election is not an option. Your duty and that of those you will train is simple. To protect the votes that Nigerians will cast for the APC and ensure that nobody, no matter who the party may be, tamper with the credibility of our victory. President Buhari has promised Nigerians a credible election. Our party is desirous of a credible victory. We do not wish to waste our time in the judicial processes. When the results are declared, we will surely be congratulated by the mean our opponents. <laughs> our presidential candidates, Asiwaju, Bola, Ahmed, Junubu, has spelled out his dreams and vision for Nigeria during the next ABC administration. The party has accepted the programs and is determined that these be implemented. We jointly promise to continue the policies 
of the present administration, as well as liberalize the economy, diversify our revenue, and increase base and income base, and provide stability and security for micro and macroeconomic growth. These are not just slogans or campaign promises. They are actionable plans to make Nigeria a prosperous and economic giant in Africa. Every election is about choices. We have worked hard to convince Nigerians that we are the choice party for the future. The training you have undergone today is crucial to protecting the choice the electors will make. I urge you not to take your assignment lightly. Please understand that the APC must win because Nigeria is young for a new hope. That hope is where our future lies. We must all not shadow in our responsibilities to ensure victory in the APC. On behalf of the National Working Party, the party, I commend you for the sacrifices that you called upon to make. I wish you well and thank you very much for playing a role in the expected victory of the APC at the place of God. Thank you. Thank you very much, the National Chairman of the Party. It is time to elect our new president. The presidential election will hold on Saturday, the 25th of February. Here is what you need to know. Polling units open at 8.30 a.m. and voting closes at 2.30 p.m. Before leaving home, ensure that you have your PVC as you cannot vote without it. You can also come along with some snacks and drinks so you don't get hungry while you wait. Also, make sure you are not wearing anything bearing the color or symbol of a political party. When you get to your polling unit, communicate only with the assistant presiding officers or designated INEC officials who would verify, accredit, and register you using the bimodal voter registration system BVAS. You will then be issued your ballot papers and directed to the voting cubicle. How to cast your vote On your ballot paper, look carefully for the APC logo with the broom and thumbprint within the box. Give it a few seconds to dry to ensure the ink does not smudge or smear other parts outside your selected vote. Once you have finished thumbprinting, ensure you put each paper in the correct ballot boxes. Note that you are not allowed to take photographs of the ballot paper when in the voting cubicle. After casting your vote, wait 300 meters from the polling area so you can witness sorting, counting, and announcement of results. Do not disrupt the process. This message is brought to you by Be Direct. At this point, with a rousing standing ovation, we are going to welcome to the microphone the president in the waiting to us. The man who is going to take the mantle of leadership after 25th of February, the man who is coming in as the next president of Nigeria, His Excellency, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, the presidential candidate of our party, to the microphone. <laughs>
my friend. And a leader, a man of great wisdom. So I think Kevin send them to Abdullah. I thank you. So all this means so punctual, so committed, so dedicated and patriotic. Your history and reflected that throughout the country. I wish I had the level of maturity and the discipline that you have for them to be like. The director of our campaign organization, well, lucky man, brilliant, and committed. You have one of the best hands to work with in this matter project, election planning. I'm working with you today, several years, and many hours. I know he's a brilliant man. He's a committed patriot. He does things. He does it right. Uh, thank you, Tony, for accepting to serve. We we'll make the 2018 2015. Yeah, of planning for the electoral system keep changing every year. And that was a revolution that you were part of when we were fighting the Ibu style. <laughs> to all of you, the teachers, of victory. The knowledge of our party, you represent very critical position. This party cannot sing victory song without you. I could see the woman leader. proud of my woman. Yes. I agree. Women are just different species. And I will know the best result will come from that concentration. Because it's only a woman that can hold conversation, watch TV, breastfeed the baby, and stay in sweater. Yeah. 
It was never about the individual, but the collective campaign for a united, stable Nigeria. Where you can see your flesh and where all Nigerians can see themselves. In which you take ownership of democracy and the electoral process. Indeed, you all are the foundation on which our electoral victory rests. We will go as far as you bring us. It is your turn. Again, we are faced with an opportunity to continue with our vision of a prosperous Nigeria. It is a vision with demonstrable achievement and leadership to back it. Go and read the book by Esther Will, The Mind of a Leader. You will find that focusing, concentration, commitment, and determination is the hallmark for knowledge-based economy, for knowledge-based leadership. Student that no one will be left behind. 
to face the deluge of migration in Lagos. People who are even sleeping in the buses in order to take advantage of them. But today, so many states in this country have adopted that. We do it. We've never been to the assembly to register or make a copyright law. You can copy. <laughs> I get my friend, Abba uh, Adam Oshiomali. He came when he was a governor. He said, I will shamelessly copy you. <laughs> I believe they will be my lasting legacy. My ability to harness our diversity for public inclusion. And this is what is on the line. This is what we are referring to as a Nigerian dream. I'm saying, I'm promising that that time is now for Nigeria. Diversity. Diversity for prosperity. No political sophistication or empty oratory, but proving and demonstrable leadership. That's why I offer you, that's why I offer myself. I am happy to be with you. It was in Lagos that we raised the first ever state bond for infrastructure in spite of antagonism and opposition from the PDP then government to control federal government. All others, other states have since completed that revolutionary change that we created from Lagos. It was in Lagos that we started the Office of Public Defender to provide access to justice for the poor and vulnerable. At least, at the last count, 10 other states have copied it. It was in Lagos that we started LASA to promote and regulate outdoor advertising and improve local government revenue. 15 states, including the opposition, opposition states, have created their own version of LASA. Why the 16 states have created their own version of LASA? Is knowledge. Hmm. Thinking and the capacity to just see. Imagine those of you who at the red and in secondary school beginning. Say, what is the definition of an entity? God, an entity is an artificial human being. It's more. Without the oppression, design knowledge, and thinking of an architect and a proper process, we cannot be comfortable in this world. That is the power of knowledge, thinking, and action. 
That is what we brought here. Today, you've learned so much. But that's not enough. Don't just take those books or those magazines given to you and look at the ending and say, oh, I know about it. <laughs> Election planning and monitoring. What is in it? <laughs> Don't do that, please. <laughs> Read it again.
that have been doing it is in your hand now. <laughs> and that, I would watch out, be vigilant. The war and bandit is behind you. He has his own representative too. Don't fight. Just correct. Demonstrate knowledge, capacity, and determination to bring the future Before I end my speech or remark, states, take this seriously. Please, all the representatives of the states in the election planning directorate and their anchor, local anchor, should go back to their states. If you need any help, let us know. Oh. Election planning, directorate, and the zona anchors should go back to the estates. That's a directive from the candidate, from me and the party. Come on, agree. Agree, Mr. Chairman. There's no voting booth in Abuja that we are worried about. Please go back home. As long as you are a senior director, go to your state and monitor the implementation of the state training program. You are responsible to give us the report, to give us the feedback. We want to monitor how best you demonstrate your knowledge of today from beginning. I know about training. I was well trained. As on the music, why you blow your own trumpet? Why we line up? The trumpet will go rusty. Nobody will blow it for me. Read it again and again. 
Shine your eyes, blow your right. If they bring a one to grow love. <laughs> You are not a member of Kuku. You are a member of the Gateway Party. The same law is approved. You sweep them clean and you come for a clean house, a clean victory. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I have been your accomplice in. Baby, look up. Our look up. 